Hello students, welcome to Vinita's Math channel. This is a new initiative where I am starting the Digital Design and Computer Organization BCS302. Subject code is BCS302. This subject is there for the CS branch, IS branch and its allied branches. Around 15 plus allied branches are there. All these branches will be having the uh, BCS302 that is the digital design and the computer organization subject in their third semester according to the VTU 2022 scheme. Okay. In this video, we are going to see the introduction about the BCS 302 subject that is DDCO digital design and computer organization syllabus what is the syllabus and how the marks is being distributed you will write the exam for 100 marks now or you are going to uh, evaluate it for 100 marks how that 100 marks is being divided how much of marks is there for continuous internal evaluation and how much is there for cement examination like that and in this video we also see what are the exact what branches will study this subject in their curriculum okay the subjects <coughs> the branches which who will study this subject are computer science and engineering this branch subject will study the ddco that is digital design and computer organization C computer engineering branch artificial intelligence and data science artificial intelligence and machine learning computer science and business system computer science and design computer science and engineering iot Computer Science and Engineering, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. Computer Science and Engineering, Artificial Intelligence. Computer Science and Engineering, Cyber Security. Computer Science and Engineering, Data Science. Computer Science and Engineering, IoT and Cyber Security including the Blockchain. Information Science and Engineering, Data Science. All these branches will study the Digital Design and Computer Organization in the third semester fine the numbers what i have given here 6 8 9 12 13 14 these are all the serial numbers which is there in the vtu website and it is also there for the computer science that is uh, it is being represented as 21a in the vtu website now let us see the uh, digital design and computer organization syllabus copy. The subject code is BCS302. The subject code is BCA302. It is an integrated subject meaning for 100 marks both you will be having both the theory as well as lab here they have mentioned 40 hours of theory one second here they have mentioned 40 hours of theory and 20 hours of practical so for your 100 marks both you will be having a theory exam and the practical exam for theory, 3 hours is being dedicated and for practicals, 2 hours is being dedicated. CIE, it is for 50 marks. That is, continuous internal evaluation. Your 100 marks is being divided as for internally 50 marks. For external, SEM and examination. SEE means SEM and examination. For SEM and examination, that is the exams, what you are going to write at the end of your semester. The VTU will set the question paper now. For that, you will write 400 marks, but it is being reduced to 50 marks. 
next coming to the syllabus the first module is introduction to digital design uh, you have already learned the basics of electronics and communication in your first or second semester there you have already studied uh, how to convert the numbers from one base to another base that is octal to hexadecimal octal to binary or uh, binary to octal decimal to octal <coughs> so on whereas in this model uh, you will study in detail about all these topics you have already studied the theorems properties of boolean algebra okay uh, in this you are having k maps k maps for four variable is there we cannot directly teach the four variable map so we will start with the two variable k map three variable and next we will go for the four variable k map and what is a don't care conditions how to implement any gate using a nand and nor nor gates nand and nor gates are called as universal gates okay so how to implement any gates by using these two gates and other hardware description languages like c python c++ this is also uh, the verilog module this is also an like a c language where we will use this language to simulate the digital circuits we will look into this also next in the module 2 combinational logic here uh, in the first semester or first or second semester you have already studied the half adder and full adder in this you will study the introduction to combinational circuits design procedures how we will design the binary adders subtractors decoders encoders mux and we will see the hdl modules of the combinational circuits that is how the adder is being designed in the hardware description language like we will write few lines of codes to design this adder mux encoder so on and in the sequential logic we will see what is a sequential circuit what is storage element what is latch and what is flip flop in the third module this the first two models is dedicated for digital design in the third fourth and fifth module it is all related to computer organization third module is computer it's related to computer organization basic structure of computers how the computers will be organized what are the functioning blocks functioning units what is the basic operational concepts like if we add two numbers what is going to be done in the background of an computer how the data is being transferred or how the address is being taken considered that is all studied in bus structure what is the performance process clock basic performance equation what is the clock rate of it what are the performance measures we will take these concepts we will study under the uh, basic structure of computers next machine instructions and programs uh, in this we will study the memory location and address memory operations instruction and instruction sequencing addressing modes okay there are many addressing modes direct addressing indirect addressing register addressing memory addressing okay so on we will study that also in the module 3 in module 4 this is dedicated for input output organization that is how to access the input output devices how to interrupt how to handle the interrupts interrupts what are the interrupt hardware are there how to enable and disable interrupt handling multiple devices direct memory access bus arbitration speed size cost of memory systems cache memory 
and its mapping functions this will all be studied under module 4 and under, mod under module 5 the basic processing unit some fundamental concepts that is how to transfer the contents from one register to another performing the ALU operations ALU means arithmetical logical units how to add the contents between the two registers or how to do the logical and operation or logical or operations between the contents of a register next how to fetch a word from a memory storing a word in a memory execution of complete instructions pipelining that is basic concepts role of cache memory pipeline performance all these concepts will be studied in module 5 okay since I, I had already told you it is an integrated subject that is you will study both the theory and practical for 100 marks in this practical experiments are also there for practical experiments the simulation packages preferred are multi sim model sim or p space in our college we are preferring multi sim these eight experiments these eight experiments are there in your syllabus <coughs> let us go through the syllabus of uh, uh, lab experiments briefly for experiment logic expression will be given you have to simplify it and simulate the same using the basic gates using the multi sim next design a 4 bit adder and subtractor simulation design a verilog hdl hardware description language to implement the simple circuits using structural data flow and behavioral modules next fourth experiment is design a verilog hdl to implement a binary adder subtractor that is the half and full adder half and full subtractor okay these two and then decimal adder implementation next implement different types of 2 is to 1 4 is to 1 and 8 is to 1 max dmux implementation flip flops implementation that is sr jk and d flip flops these eight experiments are there for your uh, practical examination now in this in this part the assessment details in the assessment details they have given how the marks is being distributed that i have shown you here in a diagrammatic way this subject dds and co that is digital design and computer organization this subject is being evaluated for 100 marks for cie that is for internally 50 marks and for external whatever the exam you will write that will carry 50 marks you will write it for 100 marks that will be reduced to 50 marks okay next under cie the 50 marks this is also divided between two parts that is the theory and practical why because this is an integrated subject the weightage uh, for theory is 25 marks okay this 50 marks is being divided as 25 marks and 25 marks and in theory you will write an assignments and I'll, you will also write the internal assessment that is the you will write internals and the assignments for internals 15 marks is being dedicated and for writing the assignments 10 marks is being dedicated usually lecturers may give you two assignments or one assignment if they give two assignments five marks for each if they give single assignment it carries yeah, the weightage for that assignment will be 10 marks okay you will write IAS for 50 marks right IA1 and IA2 only two internal assessment you have to write one is at the end of 40 to 50 percent syllabus con completion and other is at the end of 85 to 90 percent syllabus completion so you will write this IA for 50 marks and this 50 marks will be reduced to 15 individually this is also reduced to 15 individually then the average of these two will be taken and it will be scaled down to 15 
okay for example here you have got uh, 46 for 50 it will be scaled down to 15 here let us consider you have got 40 for 50 that will be scaled down to 15 that is 1 5 next uh, let us consider you have got it as 14 here and here also 14 point something what is the average of these two the average will be around 14 so out of 15 marks you will get 14 fine next this assignment 10 marks for 10 marks you have got it as for example 9 so 14 plus 9 that will be equal to 23 so for 25 marks you will get 23 this part you understood next practical that is for the lab session 25 marks is dedicated for the lab conduction and for record maintaining 15 marks is being dedicated and lab test will be there lab test will be conducted for 50 marks but it will be reduced to 10 marks so 15 plus 10 25 you got to know how this 100 marks is being divided for the assessment okay next passing percentage passing marks to get passed in the exam you must score more than or equal to 40 marks out of 100 in that also internally it is being divided for CAE that is continuous internal evaluation you must get 20 out of 40 50 that is 40 percent and SEE cement examination you must get 18 out of 50 that is 35 percent okay all together if you get 20 here and if you get 18 here you will not be considered as passed why 20 plus 18 is 38 your score is not greater than 40 or equal to 40 so you will be considered as fail you must score more than 40 out of 100 but it must be more than 20 here and more than 18 here in this 20 also for in theory you must get 10 and in practicals examination you must get 10 marks okay this is all about the uh, DDCO that is digital design and computer organization subjects uh, if you like this content do hit the like button share with your friends thank you for watching and happy learning